Fourth match of five on this final day of the PlayStation Schools Cup Festival for 2015. It's the under-13 Girls Schools Cup between St. Ivo's School of the Hunterton Schools Football Association against South Hunsley High School, the East Riding SFA. As Jess Park and Abby Hasty will get us underway. St. Ivo in maroon going from right to left on your screen. South Hunsley going from left to right as you watch. 35 minutes to be played each half. This for the PlayStation Under 13 Schools Cup for girls. Both teams going through eight rounds to get here, and South Hunsley High School haven't been afraid to put some goals in the net. I tell you what, John Scales, they have. They score at least, and I say at least, four goals per game en route to this final. That's some going, isn't it? And it's a long season. Nine rounds. Is it nine rounds, eight rounds, some yeah. of them? And I say that, the Saints, apart from St. Ivo's 2-2 draw against Hannon Woods Academy, and when they went through on penalties, the six rounds prior to that, they scored a minimum of five goals. Oof. For a goal feast. Yes, we, we hopefully could be in for a goal fest here, and as I say that, it'll probably end up being a no-no draw. <laughs> Catherine Speed running on. With great speed. And with well great done. speed indeed. Speed by name, speed by nature. Go to the oh, shot. It's on the back of the Oh, wonderful from Catherine Speed! What a goal that is. Well, she got down this right-hand side absolutely brilliantly and cut back on what you presume would be a weaker foot. But honestly, Catherine's speed, with great technique, held off the challenge there, swept the ball in with the left foot, and the goalkeeper is nowhere to be seen, stranded there as the ball loops over her head, and what a start to the game that is. And we have two mascots down below us, John, by the way, just as this ball comes in from... Tilly Oxley, just wide. I'm, I'm seeing one dressed as one of the Incredibles, oh. and I'm also seeing a kangaroo. Yes, now I saw the kangaroo. I didn't see the Incredibles. There she is. And look, you can actually uh, tell who it is. There you go. I, I think I'd rather be dressed up in the kangaroo than... <laughs> Ivo the Incredible. I'm, I'm trying to see what, what the kangaroo is, and the kangaroo is not too happy about that, in all fairness, uh, with, with their celebrations going on. Well, getting all the attention. Kangaroon's yeah. got... Well... It was Camelot would have the hump. I don't know what a kangaroo would have when it's not happy. <laughs> have the pouch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, the kangaroo's looking a, bit, a little bit despondent right, right now. Yes, he's got his head down, bless yeah. him. Not, he hasn't really got a spring in the step. No, as indeed. You'd expect. She's got to go alone, hasn't she? She has to go and alone, She indeed. might go all the way. She might go all the way. Jess Park here. Jess Park. Goes around oh. the keeper. Oh, what a run this is! What a run, Jess Park! 1-1! One, one. Wonderful! Well, what about that? The captain. Absolutely phenomenal. What a run, and this will get better the more you see it. Just the balance and the poise that she shows here. Joy to watch. She gets the ball here, puts the ball past. She's got no other option. Shows great pace. Now that it's about the composure, having the right touch, and look at that. Three, four of them with the keeper left trailing in a wake. And the easiest of tap-ins, but nothing easy about that skill that she showed there. Shot coming in, what a shot that is! Oh, oh. my word! Jess Park with an absolute perler! Well, she does it again, doesn't she? And again, another one right from the top, top draw. And we'll see this again, but she really has been the difference in these two sides. What a wonderful strike that is. Gets her second held up there. That's a great shot, isn't it? Jess Park in the, in the meantime. Park, maybe looking to seal the victory here. Park, oh, on the keeper. Around. It's for the hat trick. It's for the hat trick and the victory, maybe. Jess Park celebrates away. 3-1, three, three goals of Jeff Park and the Hunsley Hopper congratulates us straight away. Captain Fantastic, Jess Park. 3-1 to South Hunsley. A class act.
Well, you're right. Park has parked the victory. Captain Fantastic, you're right. Look at that, the way she went around the goalkeeper. Still had to keep her composure. She knew it was for the hat-trick. She probably sensed it was for the victory. Probably would seal this game. Good battle between these two. <laughs> Well, well, I would give that to Ivan the Invincible on that occasion. Yeah, I would. Jess Park. Park. It's still Park. Shoots. Scores. 4-1. Jess Park with another. She didn't think she had it. Paddy there from Sophie Majorum. And that will be the last rights in this game. Well, she showed in the build-up to that that she was uh, quite happy to lay the ball off, but fortuitously maybe a little bit got the ball back. Just here. But look, she made the most of it. Goalkeeper couldn't keep it out, just parries it, takes the sting out of it, but the ball goes over the line for her fourth. And a referee, Jake Webster, Calls time on this PlayStation under 13, scores cup for girls, and it's been an emphatic victory to the team from the East Riding. South Hunsley High School, the team from Melton, are the champions here in Reading. One down, one to go for that school. Their male under 14 counterparts come on the, the bench, come off the bench in about 20 minutes' time. But it's Jess Park who's the hero, captain fantastic, captain's innings, four goals from the captain, 4 1 they win. Staff, Lisa Trigg and Dana Majorum. Guys, your thoughts on the game first of all? Yeah, I think you know we, we obviously had a good start. Uh, we, we knew that Jess Park was a dangerous player. Uh, we, we tried to keep it quiet, but with a player that good, it's very difficult. And you know, full credit to her for, for winning the player of the match. I think she deserved it. Um, but you know, we're really proud of the girls. They gave everything. We asked them to get in the box as often as they can, threaten the goal, and I think we did. You know, we was unlucky in front of goal sometimes maybe be a bit more proficient but look we're, we're very proud of everything they've done I think as a squad they had a really strong game especially for them there was a couple of players that um, maybe you don't see on the ball as often in our team that really stepped up today Ellen Bullen had an absolute cracking game and Emma Mellers again at the back yeah. um, so we're really proud of the, of the squad if you like or overall we managed to get every single player we brought 14 girls and every single player won uh, well got on at least played 10 minutes so that's, that's a win in our eyes as well at the same time you started well as well Catherine with a superb goal. Yeah, she's a quality player to be fair and uh, for anybody that knows Catherine knows that she's actually an even better cricketer than she's a footballer so she's an all-round sports girl. Um, she's very good. Yeah, look, uh, it gave us a great start, gave us a boost and actually if, if you look back at the way we've played in the previous rounds uh, we've actually been quite slow starters generally. We we was one goal down in the quarter-finals, we was two goal down with, with tw two, uh, 12 minutes to go in the semi and come back to two all and one on penalties so you know we are slow starters sometimes so it's great today that we've overcome that if nothing else. What next now for these girls? Pardon? What next for the girls? Oh, well, actually, we've got something quite exciting. In July, um, we're taking them to the Youth World Cup in Sweden, so we're going to the Gothia Cup in July. So this squad and another squad will be competing, representing not only our school, but Cambridgeshire and England as well. So we're really looking forward to that moving forwards. Will this crowd be going with them? Will we? Will what? Will it's this crowd? I wish they were. It'd be great, wouldn't it? They were really loud. Did a great job, and thanks to every one of them that have travelled all the way here and given it everything. So, yeah, they, they, they've been great for us. And even Miss Shaw did well, didn't she? She, she did fantastically well. I saw a cartwheel or two that, that could have room for improvement, but she did a very, very good job. So, we're happy overall. Guys, commiserations. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the delighted South Hunsley coach Jenny Lee joins me right now. Jenny? You had a grin like the Cheshire Cats. Yes, am, Fantastic yeah. performance from your side. Yeah, excellent performance. So proud of the girls. Uh, last year we got knocked out in the semi final, so to come back this year and win it is an amazing achievement. We got beat by St Ivor last year, so it was a little bit of revenge for us. I thought it was some great football. Um, obviously, Jess Park outstanding for four goals, but in terms of team spirit, unbelievable over the moon. Well, yeah, indeed, it was a good team performance, but one player did stand out, and that was your captain, Jess yeah. Park. She what a performance. Unbelievable. unbelievable. When, she, when we needed to step up, she really does, and obviously we won't be able to do it without her. However, we've kind of worked around her, and some of the year sevens that have come in have worked really well with her. So just proud of all the team, to be fair. They've all been really good. What next now for these girls? 
Well, we've actually got the uh, Six Aside Premier League tournament tomorrow, which is also national finals, with eight of the girls from today. So oh, ah! we're all looking forward to going to White Hat Lane tomorrow to do the same. So it's going to be uh, another long day for us. Tell me, what does this victory mean for the school? You're, what you want down, want to go? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, obviously, we're doing really well nationally in a lot of sports. So hopefully, everyone will be really proud back home of us and just lifting the trophy for everyone. You're right. in a selfie now without me. <laughs> and no doubt the school will be very proud of you as well. Jenny, many congratulations. Thank you very much.